viewers my name is Sarim Khan studying fifth standard and today we have our new topic and that is gravitation and it can be useful for if you are preparing for J okay whether that is J main or J advance so if your preparation is going on for J main or advance so maybe from my point of view this video may be helpful for you that is about gravitation okay as we know it is very important chapter gravitation okay and many concepts can be taken in the examinations of j main or advanced from this chapter gravitation so it is very important chapter we are going to study this chapter so as we know it is also long chapter so we will try to discuss this chapter in many videos in this video what we are going to study mainly is the introduction to gravitation okay introduction to gravitation we have to study later what we can study the universal law of gravitation by newton this we can study later if we want so we can also study about gravity okay about whether what is gravity what is the difference between gravitational force and gravity this we can study so now let us begin from introduction to gravitation or introduction to gravitational force so first let us discuss over what is gravitational force first of all just like we can define as every object in the universe tries to attract the next object just like if we have two examples one this board is and one this marker is so the marker and board are exerting a force okay on each other but this force value is very small okay it, this it's the magnitude of this force is very small this is why okay when we leave this marker so it goes down but not near the board so higher the mass higher the gravity higher the gravitational force so it is that force gravitational force is that force by which each object in the universe attracts the next object this is introduction to gravitation now in this chapter gravitation just like let me first define to you about some stories just like uh, we have a heard about newton we have also studied about newton's laws of motion so it is believed that once what happened newton was sitting under an apple tree later suddenly one apple fell on his head and later fall, what happened he got the idea about if earth attracts each object okay earth attracts each object that has been broken so it falls down okay if it attracts each object then why does the moon revolve the earth but why does it not fall over the earth that is the main problem so what newton thought about this problem why it is such then why does the moon revolve the earth why not it falls over the earth why not it strikes to the earth so this was the main problem met by newton so for, by going for solution he invented a new law that we today call about the universal law of gravitation okay we'll call it universal law of gravitation gravitation we know about what is what is universal law okay what is universal law of gravitation okay so first of all we'll know about universal law of gravitation it is very important law okay this universal law of gravitation is the main law that can define the magnitude of gravitational force okay means universal law of gravitation defines the exact magnitude of the gravitational force just like gravitation anyone can define but even then what is magnitude of gravitation this law universal law of gravitation can define okay so now what does this universal law of gravitation states okay just like newton in invented this law okay by sitting under apple tree it is believed okay it may also not be true it may be true but it is believed so universal law of gravitation what does it state that if we have two objects or two masses imagine we have two objects okay one ball here we have and one ball here we have imagine the mass of the first ball okay okay here it is not fully spherical so okay imagine it is a spherical so mass of first ball imagine the, the mass of first ball be m1 okay it can be m1 and mass of second ball the same of second ball be m2 mass of first be m1 and that of second be m2 now their centers just locate okay center position only we need to locate and join join a line from their center okay join a line from the center so it will be such now the distance between center will be equals to the length of this line so what we can see okay this distance is r imagine the distance between the centers of the two balls or or two masses b r okay this is now the first ball will exert force on second ball and the second ball will exert force on first ball this we can have of course 
always the first ball will exert force on second and second will exert force on first okay just like universal law of gravitation okay we it can follow to third law of motion okay uh, action reaction force okay those but we don't have to discuss okay those two will be are uh, okay attracting each other by a force now what newton said by universal law of gravitation is that if f be the okay if f be the gravitational force if f be the gravitational force then we can write that f is directly proportional to the product of masses okay f is directly proportional to the product of masses this we can have so what we can write f proportional m1 m2 product of masses m1 m2 proportionality symbol here we have magnitude of the of uh, gravitational force f so if f is proportional m1 m2 okay in this case we have universal law of gravitation states now f proportional m1 m2 but f is also proportional to the 1 by r square okay f is proportional to the 1 by r square or f is inversely proportional to the r square remember universal law of gravitation follows the inverse square law why inverse square law because here f is proportional to the inverse of square of r okay f is proportional to the inverse of square of r so universal law of gravitation also follows the inverse square law this we have now f is proportional m1 m2 while f is proportional 1 by d square here f f common can be taken okay f now proportionality symbol common now anything else no now only what we need to do nothing else is present to be taken common now only what to do is then only just multiply this number by this number will multiply so f proportional m1 m2 okay now to m1 m2 and we can write as m1 m2 divided by 1 can we write such of course we can write so divided by 1 multiplied by we'll find out their product okay so multiplied by 1 by r square now here by this what we can write f okay proportional this same will be m1 into m2 into 1 is m1 into m2 so m1 m2 divided by now 1 into r square is r square this we have so f proportional m1 m2 divided by r square this we have now it is very simple now only but if we need to find out the magnitude the value of gravitational force okay means the value numerical value of f so here this is proportionality symbol so we need to replace the symbol by equality symbol so how will replace method is very simple only f as it is just right now here equals to just right but while replacing it with equals to only what we have to do one proportionality constant will fall in this equation so f equals to g m1 m2 by r square okay f equals to g m1 m2 by r square let me write here it will f equals to g m1 m2 divided by r square this is the main statement okay so this is the main equation but how f equals to g m1 m2 by r square this we know f is proportional to the product of masses f is inversely proportional to the square of distance between them then f is proportional to the m1 m2 by r square now here will replace the proportionality symbol so here equality symbol will come but with equality symbol while replacing one proportionality constant will fall and this proportionality constant is denoted by g that will be called in this chapter as the universal gravitational constant okay universal gravitational constant means okay or simply gravitational constant means its value will be same in whole universe in whole universe wherever you will go the value of g or universal gravitational constant will be same throughout the whole universe this we have so the main statement of universal law of gravitation is the same point okay this itself is known as universal law of gravitation you know how to draw the sequence so okay here this is the main statement so here what is f f is gravitational force g universal gravitational constant m1 m2 product of masses divided by r square square of the distance between the two masses this we have this is now we we'll, let us discuss little about g so let me tell you that g is a constant first of all we know it is a constant g value is 6.673 into 10 raised to the power minus 11 newton meter square okay kg raised to the power minus 2 
okay this is the value 6.673 into 10 raised to the power minus 11 newton meter square kg power minus 2 this is the numerical value of g okay okay but if you go for uh, if you go the uh, okay looking for the value of g so it was done experimentally and it is very long process but how this unit we got newton meter square kg inverse how this unit we got only very simple method is f equals to g m1 m2 by r square whole chapter is okay based on this equation this equation will be very useful main equation of the chapter only what we have to do we have to bring g in the next side so what we can write that g equals to okay what we can write g equals to f r square divided by okay m1 okay divided by m1 times m2 this is the magnitude of g by this we can find out the value of g that if the okay if two masses of any two spheres any two balls is m1 and m2 and the gravitational force acting them between them is f and the distance okay square of distance between them is r square then the value of g is given by fr square by m1 and m2 okay m1 times m2 but how this okay you know very well because okay and no need to tell because you also know how to drive the equation for g only what we have to do we need to bring this g here have this here so 1 by g equals to we can write that m1 m2 into okay 1 okay divided by r square into 1 by f so g equals to f r square divided by m1 m2 now how this unit we got okay unit we can drive which is equals to force unit is newton okay now r square means length square unit meter square here dash we can put newton meter square divided by m1 into m2 means mass into mass okay mass is kg so mass into mass is kg square divided by kg square which is equals to newton meter square this will try to bring up so kg inverse square so finally what unit we got newton meter square kg inverse square this we have so this we discussed over universal law of gravitation okay this is the universal law of gravitation this is the numerical value of universal gravitational constant equation for universal gravitational constant and the unit si in si unit remember this is the si unit for universal gravitational constant okay but if if what happens just like let me inform you something if the first object okay so many things we discussed let us discuss little about gravity it is very short concept but concept is this that if the first object okay be the earth if first object be the earth and the second object be the any other object okay any apple any ball so if first object is earth okay first object is earth so and mass of earth is m1 okay mass of earth is m1 equation we can write f equals to g m1 m2 by r square equation is this of course it is this by universal law of gravitation because it is all applicable in whole universe it is a universal law so here first object m1 is mass of earth m1 is mass of earth okay so in such cases where okay where just like we have m1 and m2 two masses are m1 and m2 and if in m1 and m2 either m1 or m2 okay any one any one mass is earth then this kind of force is called gravity okay then if just like m1 is okay m1 is mass of earth or m2 is mass of earth m1 is mass of earth and m2 is a mass of any ball anything or it may be also possible m1 is mass of any ball and m2 is mass of earth if in this case any one mass is that mass of earth so this whole force will be called as gravity this whole force will be called as gravity okay whenever we have okay any one object for universal law of gravitation will be earth then the force and the gravitational force in this situation is called as gravity this is very important concept means it can define that gravity is the gravitational force by which earth attracts any other object by which m1 or, or mass of the earth attracts m2 or mass of any other object so this is very important concept 
to know about in such cases the gravitational force will be called as gravity it may be called as gravity okay so this is important concept so now in our next video we can discuss over some more points just like acceleration due to gravity and variation in the uh, variation in the value of acceleration due to gravity that is denoted by g so this uh, today in today topic we are going to discuss only this so this was my today's topic thank you